What's the point of dating if you're an asexual? Not because I believe in the identity label, asexuality. Of course, there are people out there who don't want to have sex, but it's not a sexual orientation or a sexuality. It's quite the opposite, I would say. Of course, your dating pool is so small if you don't want to have sex with people. What did you expect? This is the same trans guy who's trying to explain what it means to be trans. So you know how explaining to people who aren't trans and refuse to understand us why we are trans and why we transition, you know how that's like beating your head into a brick wall? No, I don't know that feeling. I'll explain in a sec, but please continue. I think maybe finally I figured out how to explain why transitioning to me was so important. Imagine you have a red car. You don't like the color red. You decide to get it painted blue professionally. Everybody around you is like, there's nothing wrong with red. Why do you want to repaint your car? Because I don't like the color red. There's nothing inherently wrong with red, but I don't like it to the point where I would rather pay money to repaint it blue. And then everybody around you is like, why are you doing that? The car's perfectly fine. It works. Yes, it works. But I prefer it strongly, very strongly to be blue. The reason why people are confused and don't understand what you're saying is because you're wrong. The reason why actual trans people transition is not due to us preferring to be the opposite sex. It's due to the uncontrollable emotional pain we feel in our own body, in our own sex. Regular people will never sympathize or understand the transsexual experience if we don't tell them about gender dysphoria. If we don't say, hey, it's a mental disorder. I couldn't help feeling so uncomfortable in my own skin. I wish I could control the discomfort because then I would choose not to feel it. But if you describe the trans experience as, I just prefer to look like the opposite sex, people won't understand why you would sterilize yourself with hormones or even surgeries just to get a specific look. This is so stupid because if I told people I transitioned because I want to look like a man, refusing to talk about gender dysphoria, mental health, mental disorders, what would be the natural response to that? Why didn't you just cut your hair and wear men's clothing? Why did you need to sterilize yourself with the transition? It's a reasonable response because they think a transition is only about the aesthetics and has nothing to do with mental health. I am extremely happy with it. I don't think I'm gonna go back to red because I like blue and everybody's still so skeptical. Everybody's like, well, like, are you sure? Okay, so you don't understand why people don't believe you when you say you're comfortable with your transition, you're happy, you're not gonna regret it. Let me explain to you why that is. If the reason why you transition had nothing to do with alleviating symptoms of a mental disorder, why did you f do it? Why do you expect people to believe that the transition was good for you? And most importantly, was necessary? On the other hand, if you acknowledged gender dysphoria, if you even deal with it, was the only reason why you transitioned and it made you feel at peace with yourself, generally happy, normal, like you're a normal human being for the first time in your life, most people you're talking to would sympathize with that. I think it makes sense to people if you say, I went through this to treat a mental disorder. This is just my advice, take it or leave it. It wouldn't surprise me if you reject my advice because if you're a trans activist, you would need something to complain about. And my advice would ruin that for you because I would like fix your problems, so. Hi, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal and I'm hosting SNL this week with Camila Cabello. No, Gyllenhaal, your name is pronounced Gyllenhaal. I guarantee you it is not. Your boyfriend sees you as a man I don't think he needs glasses. I think he needs to see a professional because something is not right. If your boyfriend is not cray cray, delulu, brainwashed, when believing you look like a man, he's definitely intolerant because he believes that just because you're a woman with short hair, with facial piercings, you're not a woman anymore. Oh, and by the way, your boyfriend is straight. He might be bisexual, but the possibility is low. Moving on. This is a trans guy on Grindr. He texted a man, hey, the guy responded with, send dick pic. I'm a trans guy, so it'd be a vagina if that's okay. LOMAO. He responded, sorry, but you can't pound my hole with a vagina. Wow, this guy is so close-minded. This stunning, brave, and real man can pound a guy's hole with his enormous bottom growth. Bottom growth refers to a woman on testosterone's clit because it grows. Sometimes just a tiny bit and other times a lot, but even if it grows a lot, we're talking about like trans activists are starting to complain a lot about straight men who date or sleep with fake trans men, meaning women with short hair 
who will never go on testosterone. Apparently that's a problem because the men have to affirm these women as men. Not only that, the men have to change their sexual orientation label. They have to identify as gay when sleeping with a woman, pretending to be a trans guy, but will never transition. Here's an example. This woman is pissed when watching a trans guy start dating a cishead guy that he thinks is closeted, but actually just sees him as a girl. Judging by the way this woman looks, this hypothetical trans guy is probably a fake one, is probably someone who looks like her, a girl who's 2% more masculine than the average girl. Look, if a man dates a female who still looks 100% female, has a female body, female voice, smell, skin texture, and all of that, he is f***ing straight. Just because the female identifies something else, claims to be a man or something in between, he's still a straight man because you cannot be sexually attracted to somebody's brain, perception of themselves, and delusions. A man is not secretly bisexual or gay if dating a female trans activist. That's not how it works. These women, these young women are the problem. They're complaining about being with men who are attracted to them, believing they should change their sexual orientation just to please them. They believe men being straight is the problem, literally. But that's how trans activists operate. No matter what they do, they're never the problem and they shouldn't change. Everyone else should change the way they think, the way they speak, the way they act, and the way they're attracted to others. They literally want people to change their sexual orientation, yet somehow they're the tolerant ones. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.